Welcome back, my friends, to the show that never ends. We're so glad you could attend. Come inside, come inside. Those are the words we used when we started Blockchain Weekly back in the blockchain spring, 2016, 2017, 2018, 2019. Blockchain Weekly was uh, a, a weekly podcast. We talked about things that uh, had to do with blockchain implementation, uh, DeFi. We talked about voting. Back in 2017, 2016, we were talking about the wisdom of the crowd and taking uh, the wisdom of the crowd into a, a, a really true, unique voting system. We did a lot of things. Eric Lai had a, 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 a company uh, in the blockchain space. Eric is the co-founder for LinkedIn. We, we interviewed Eric. Augmate was a company. Um, there, there's many companies that we interviewed back in that time that are doing well, and some, some are not doing so well. There are many people uh, that we interviewed back in that time that are with us today, and many that unfortunately, sadly, are not. We're going to revisit Blockchain Weekly. We're going to go, uh, go down and, and begin to look at the, the different uh, episodes that we had uh, several years ago, pre-pandemic. We're going to look at how that technology has come about, what it's doing, um, and, and some of the things that we can, we can take advantage of in today's current environment. We're going to look at the Government Blockchain Association and the legislation that's being, uh, being worked on in, in, in governments around the world. We're going to talk a little bit about uh, the global economies, uh, security token offerings, uh, NFT tokens, all kinds of, uh, of things that we're going to be talking about that we didn't talk about at, in Blockchain Weekly quite some time ago. But we're going to try and bring back most of the people. Some of them, um, uh, some of them have done well. Some of them have turned out to be nefarious characters. Some of, uh, some of them have done extremely well. Uh, Engrave is a, a product that we interviewed in its infancy. Engrave is a, a completely secure wallet, and it remains probably one of the one of the best products in the niche today. We interviewed the, the co-founders of that, and we're certainly going to try and go back and revisit that. We've talked to uh, some of the founders of some of the uh, D David Chaum, for instance. Uh, we we talked to David Chaum. Um, let's let's go back and revisit that uh, conversation. Let's look at the things that had happened and the and the way they have progressed. East Denver was a, uh, a another what, 2019. We were at East Denver and interviewed probably two or three hundred people at that at that event. What are some of the things that have gone on since then? These are the things we're going to be looking at Blockchain Weekly as we begin to uh, uh, as we begin to reboot the blockchain industry as we as we return. Mike Noel here, Blockchain Weekly. It's going to be fun. You're not going to want to miss it. Thanks, guys. Tune in. Subscribe. Stay tuned. More to come. You're not going to want to miss this. <laughs>